Hey YouTube, it's me Metal Trooper back again with another video and in this video we're going to uh, show you a fix if you're uh, getting this pop up here when you try to do an in-app purchase and um, this only works if you've gotten it from the app store and uh, whether it be free or paid app and uh, of course um, you're only going to have this problem this fix is only if you're jailbroken so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick um, in researching this before I even started doing this video, I noticed that there was a, a one video out that uh, suggested like deleting app sync and stuff of putting that back in, but that seemed like a difficult thing and this is a lot easier of a fix. So we're going to show you how to go ahead and, um, and do that. So um, I got a, of course I wanted to do an in-app purchase on this app right here and of course I got this pop-up saying that uh, something about a sandbox environment. So we're going to just click OK, click OK, and then the first thing that you want to do is exit out of the app. And um, you're going to need a couple of, um, just one thing, um, you're going to need, if you don't already have it, which you, most of you probably should have already, is this right here where the arrow is pointing to. Um, you're going to want to have iFile for this. So the app that you're trying to do the in-app purchase on, what you want to do is go ahead and delete that app first thing. Okay, once you have the app deleted, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go into iFile. And uh, credit for this video, actually, um, I was trying to do this in-app purchase and was having problems, and it was pointed out to me by uh, 667 over on Twitter, who um, actually brought it to my attention that um, this was posted over on the basement forum uh, by the owner, Jim A6636, so we'll give him some credit, but the actual credit of this fix goes to the uh, Exilese repo, and I will leave a description link down below. Um, for you guys to check out their form if you want to go over there and sign up. And the guy that uh, that uh, brought up the fix, his name is Flubby32, so all props go out to him. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into this. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do when you get into iFile is after you deleted the app that you want to do the in-app purchase in, you want to go to Private. Bar, stash, and you're going to come, once you click in the stash, you're going to see this uh, lib exec dot whatever file. You want to click on that, and then scroll down to where you see installed, and installed backup is these two right here. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is you go on, click on the blue arrow on the installed and click on the name and you can change this you're going to want to change to installed dot new. And then once you've done that you just click done and click done again. Then the next thing that you're going to want to do is where you see installed.backup, we'll click on that, click on that, change the name, click on it again here, and you want to want to change that to just installed. See? But um, that's what you're going to want to do. And then click done. Now, once you have the two files renamed to install.new and install, you're going to want to go ahead and respring or reboot your device. Okay, now we're done respringing. And now the next thing that you want to do is you want to go back, go into the App Store, and re get the app that you want to do the in app purchase in. And 
and I'll have to put in my password, so I'll just... Okay, we're back, and our game or uh, app is now reloaded. So now we're going to go ahead and click into the app. We've got it all loaded up here. You can see that um, it hasn't messed up my stats by deleting the game and re-entering it again. So now we're going to go ahead and let's try an in-app purchase. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on that. And that takes us up to the page now. Uh, for this video, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just uh, try to buy this uh, 140 street credits here for $9.99. So I'm going to click on buy. And of course I'm going to get a confirm your in-app purchase. Do you want to buy on the street clear? We'll click buy. And it says thank you. Your account was purchased was successful. Um, so there you go. There's the fix. Now, um, one thing I want to tell you guys uh, before we actually get done with this video, and you can see my street credit there, so we'll just go ahead and we'll click OK. Now, once you've done this, um, any time forward from now on, any time you're going to want to purchase an app with this app, um, it's going to work. And um, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back into iFile and you want to rename those files back to where that they were before. And the reason why you want to do this is because you're going to find out that if you don't, you're not going to be able to do any downloads from Cydia or install us until you change these back. So we'll go ahead and we'll show you that. The, um, The installed that we changed, we're going to go ahead and change that one first. So we'll click on it. And we'll go ahead and rename this back to install dot backup. Once you have that changed, we'll click done. We'll click done at the top. And then the one that you change to install.new, we'll click on that. Click on that. And then um, we'll change that one back to installed. And then you click done done at the top and you're all set up you got the files name back from installed and install dot, dot backup have those both renamed once you've got that done you can go ahead and exit out of iFile and then you want to go ahead and either uh, respring or reboot your device again and we'll bring it back after this gets done Okay, then after that's done um, respringing, you're all set. You should be able to be able to um, download again from Cydia and install this without any problems. So you just got to remember that once you change the files in iFile, um, that you make sure that you change it back after you've made the purchase. And like I said before, once you've made the purchase in the app, and you, even after you changed it back, um, if you use the same app, it will always work. You still should be able to do the purchase without having to do that again. And then um, any new app that you download, um, you're going to have to go through the process again that we just showed you did, how I just did this one to um, get the in-app purchases to work again. So I um, hope this video was helpful for you. This is Metal Trooper saying catch you on the flip side. Later.